What's up, Body Rock TV? Coach J, we back. We're gonna do two rounds of six movements, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Check out what I've done, check it out, check it out. So, this is an option, you don't have to do this, but if you uh, want a little extra smoke, like I felt I wanted, uh, which I might regret, and you might watch me real time regret it, um, I've got my ankle weights and my wrist weights all bundled up together. So what we're gonna be doing is some bent over rows. Um, you're pulling muscles, your back muscles, they should be pretty strong muscles. So, you know, I'd, I'd guarantee that you'd surprise yourself if you gave it a shot um, and even picked up that ankle weight instead of the wrist weight for a little bit extra. You'd be like, damn, I felt good. I'm stronger than I thought. So that's the goal, right? Um, I got these guys uh, and I've got my band for the last round. And then, of course, we strap it. All right. Um, so you might remember me from the boxing workouts. Hopefully you've come back because you like more. Uh, and today's going to be a little bit of just kind of a fitness look, not so much boxing, but you know, next one. We'll see there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start the clock. Uh, we'll do our first round. Nice little warm-up. We're going to hit that world's greatest stretch. I love it so much. Um, little hamstring loosener. And you just work with me. Don't you worry about it. I got you. I got you. Clock is on. Three, two. We're going to start in a 90-90. How every superhero lands when they jump out of a building. <laughs> All right? Not wrong. Three times you're going to lift those hips up. Try and straighten both legs. I'm pushing my hips back. My front hamstring is getting a bit loose. Okay, now check it out. I'm gonna just kick that leg back, pivot both my hands to the inside. Inside arm reaches under the armpit and up for that world's greatest stretch. Let's do two of those each side. Flip it, switch it, rip it. Two here. Now, what we're gonna do is a little cat cow. I just kick that leg back, inhale, arching the spine. Exhale, fold. Good. Right to the bell. If you've been sitting at your desk all day, that was probably the best moment of your day. First one we're gonna do is an inchworm to a push-up. Feel free to drop to the knees for the push-up if you need to. All right? Four seconds. Two, one. Let's go. Walk it out. Notice I'm loading that plank position. All right? My head comes through my shoulders. I hit that push-up and I walk all the way. Notice the elbow position for the push-up. Okay, about 45 degrees away from the body. We get caught often in these weird patterns with a big elbow flare. I always tell people, if you had to push someone away who's like scary coming at you, you probably wouldn't push them away like this, right? So your strongest pushing position is about a 45 degree angle away from your body. Next, 10 seconds to go. We should probably be able to get in one or two more, depending on the pace. I'm gonna try and squeeze in one more. Set the bar. <sighs> yeah, beautiful timing. All right, next up, we're gonna add a little pull to the push. So let's get our fun contraption here. I'm excited about this. <laughs> All right, so what are you gonna do? Slide your fingers in, hinge back, load the glutes, pack the shoulders, and we're gonna go max reps. We're gonna row those weights back. All right, now try to keep the shoulders peeled away from the ears. You can add a little rotation if you want a little bit more bicep. What I'm gonna ask that you don't do is let those shoulders sag through and watch the back position. Go ahead, stick your glutes out. No one's watching. Stick it out. Nice, and you can even play with different variations. All right, a little bit more rear delt. All right, right in the middle. Neutral, supine grip. So many options here. Five seconds. Yes, good, nice. And if you're engaging the glutes, hopefully you felt that a little bit too, okay? We're gonna keep one of these and we're gonna go into a windmill. So you're gonna take a wide stance for me, all right? I'm gonna bring the weight right above my head and notice that my arm stays straight, all right? I'm keeping it straight, packed over my shoulder. I'm rotating it as I push my hips away. My other hand sliding down the thigh and I'm hitting a kind of a, it almost looks like a yoga position, right? But what am I not doing? Looking away. So if you're doing this with kettlebells or dumbbells, keep your eye on your weight, super important. Okay, we're gonna do the other side on round two. Throwing the hips back, one toe 
pointed to the side. Okay, the other toes are pointing forward. Good, five seconds, let's go one more. Excellent. Woo. Okay, take a mental note of which side you did because we're gonna wanna do the other side. Okay, very important on the next round. All right, corpse sit up. Corpse because you're gonna feel like Dracula just waking up from his coffin slumber or something like that. So, hands on the sides, tuck the tailbone in, come through with the chest, all right? The goal here is to keep those hands crossed. You won't, don't wanna to pump too much. I want you to tuck the chin, pull the ribs in, and then use the abdominals to pull through. Lastly, coming up to 90 degrees. Good, back down. Legs stay straight. And when you have that extra weight, man, is that spicy. Muy caliente. Okay, keep going. I mean, it's just all your core, right? Oh, yeah. Because you tell, I can't even say it without the effort grunt. Good. Woo! Beauty. Okay. Last but not least, quick sip of water. Mm-hmm. Bands on. We're gonna go above the knees. We are gonna do a pop squat. Good, so you're gonna pop your feet up a little wider than your mat. As you bring the feet together, I just want you to touch down right in the middle. Notice how I'm touching down by pushing my bum back, not bending forward and rounding my back. Right, I'm gonna sit into the heels and then driving up with my glutes onto the balls of my feet. Heavier the band, harder the work, and you can also speed it up. Option to just step, step, hit the squat, step in. Step, step, hit the squat, step in, okay? Eight seconds, let's boogie. Beauty, that's it, take the band off. Round two. We're gonna start off with push-ups. How are you feeling? Whew. I'm not gonna answer honestly, I feel great. Just Three, two, one. Here we go. I'm already leaking on the mat. She's sweaty. Good. Tuck that tailbone. Hollow body. Some of the push-ups are really lost in having the core, or better known as the brace, disengaged, which would look like this. Right? We've all been there. It's the old magic mic. What you wanna do, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bum, breathe into the belly, hold the breath, exhale, press. Get you out of that wet noodle push-up. Excellent, time to pull. Hand weights up. Why don't we play with it a little bit? Let's have some fun. So, we're gonna do a rear delt variation, mid range, supine. Hips, back, elbows wide, mid range, supine. Mid range, elbows wide. Good, run with it. Dunk on them. Let's go. Are y'all sweating yet? Your girl is. Coach J be leaking. Elbows, mid range, palms, you get a little bicep in there, a little extra. Who doesn't want that? I know I like my biceps. Let's get a little extra work. Good, one more, mid range, let's finish it wide. Lovely job. Okay, windmill. So last time, I have it on my right side. This time, I'm gonna have it on my left. So that means left toes angling forward, right toes away, straight up, and then slide, keeping the hips back. My eye on the weights. It's nice because I can actually just slide my fingers right in to the grip there on the ankle weight. I don't even really have to worry about holding on to it. You might notice that like one side of the hamstrings is like a little tighter than the other. It might feel a little harder. Just go slow. Experiment really pushing your hips back away from the body. 
you're gonna feel this kind of in your, obviously your obliques a little bit, but also kind of in your QLs. Quadratus on forum. Oh, fancy. Hey, didn't go to school for nothing. There we go. Okay, corpse stood up. I think this one might be the, the one that I'm struggling with the most. This one's hard, okay? Especially with that, that weight high up in the thoracic spine. Like, I'm really having to work to engage my upper abdominals and drive through, finishing it in my lower abdominals. Everything to keep that tailbone tucked under, right? That hollow body that we want. Ush. Ush. What's the noise you're making? Oh, that's just my uh, demons coming out. Sweat demons. It gives you power, right? Ush, absolutely. So, whenever we're generating force in combat sports, we want to exhale. So first I'm trying to create a chain of power through my midline, obviously my core, right? Generates all the power and then I have to expend that air from my, my core canister, right? My brace. So that air is being created with the power, expelled on the way up. It really helps. If you haven't experimented sinking your breathing with your lifting, honestly, you're missing out on a really big part of what the core is actually meant to do when lifting and moving load. All right? Check it out. Bands up, baby. Above the knees. We're gonna push really hard this round. It's our last one. So, no matter what variation you're doing, I want you to go all out. This is why we came here for 12 minutes of bliss. Just you, your mat, right? Everything else behind you. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Absolutely focused on avoiding that urge in your mind to stop. Because it's there. It's there for me too, right? Like my quads are like, oof, girl, are you sure? I'm like, absolutely. And next thing you know, that's the bell. Saved by it. Well done, body rockers. We'll see you next time. Coach Jay, signing out. Just a quick question. Yeah. While we have it here, the corpse. Uh, crunch. Like, a lot of people might not have the power without using their arms or like some momentum to yes. get up off the ground. Can yes. you give them any tips for how to do that if you're just starting out? Absolutely. Honestly, I would say strip everything back to a dead bug, which I can show you real quick. So this is, I call this your insurance policy, your dead bug. So obviously you won't want to do this with a weight vest because you want your spine to be flat against the ground. So let's just kind of, I'm going to slide up. Um, and I want to hold my knees at 90 degrees. Step one of the corpse sit up is actually being able to engage and pull the ribs into the floor. Okay? If you can't do that, of course, it's going to be really hard. So what you want to do is focus on your breathing. I'm going to inhale naturally. I'm going to exhale and push my ribs to the floor. From there, I'm going to pull through with my and try to pull my ribs into the floor. Now, if you can hold that, without your neck and your shoulders getting just real jacked up, like then I'm truly using my upper abdominals to keep my ribs connected. Then you can play with variations like reaching through, dropping the heels, dropping one heel, right? And then still being able to breathe while you're here. From there, then you can practice extending the legs. I'm gonna draw through, draw through, right? Then once I'm progressing to the final stage, I can use my arms a little bit, then I can use one arm, then I can finally get to a place where I can use two arms. Everything's a progression. So learning how to draw the ribs in, tucking the pelvis, and then using the hands if you need to until you get to a place where you don't have to. Nice. 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 Absolutely. Take that band off. Take it off.